What's up guys? We are gonna do a lake PB challenge. So there's this lake near me, it's called Reed Bingham State Park. It's a public lake. It holds a tournament like every Thursday. The lake is pressured really hard and it's really hard to fish. Been there a lot of times and not caught a bass. My PB there is six pounds, but that is on a uh, live bait. My PB on our fish is only like three pounds and I fish there a lot. But we're gonna go to this lake until I catch my PB on artificial. So I'm just gonna keep going until I beat that three pound mark with artificial. I'm not gonna use live bait, no cheating this time. But I wanna show you guys these baits that I've been using a lot lately. The other day I went to a lake that was pressured really hard. It was a farm pond and the water was really clear and we just could not get them to bite. So I pulled out the eight pound test line and used these little baits here, these little stick baits by Catchco and we tore them up. So we've been out there for like three or four hours. Hadn't had a bite and I put those on with eight pound test line and I started catching them. I called a four pounder, I called another three pounder. But you'll see that video soon and if you guys want to check out these baits Catch Co makes, I'm going to drop the link in the description below. But I hope you enjoy the video. Let's go fishing. I got Justin, the lip, real lip. The real Sick lip rip in general. Li real lip 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 in general. It's a full moon still. It's the third day of the full moon. And we just had a storm roll through. So the big bites may still be happening. We're going to find out. Let's get on them. Lip sinking real dip dip zip. Come on. All set. You ain't never heard of that rapper? All set is not on set. What was that? There was something right there. Chug bugs work really good though. They got that mouth on them. They go goop. And what that, that noise sounds like is a bass feeding. And they hear that and they think something's feeding. They come over to check it out. All right, guys. We just seen them jumping out the water right over here. Fish are busting shad. What's going on? Hoping we'll hit this top water lure. Oh, he missed it. See if he'll come back and hit it again. Damn, I wasn't expecting that. Right, right here in the middle of the day. Is that them over there? Guys, the bass are blowing up on shad on top water right here. I just missed a good one. He was probably about three pounds. Let's go, let's go. Oh, he got it. He nailed it. He he nailed it. That was awesome. Come on up here, baby. Come on. That's a good one. That's a good little two pounder. Guys, catching fish on top water are so much fun. He exploded right on it. We're gonna go ahead and throw it back. It's a good start. Ain't been fishing for 10 minutes. Then put one in the boat. This is a Gamagatsu pencil bait and it's chartreuse and orange and I chose the chartreuse color because the water is really, really dirty. Visibility is really low right now. And these bass are schooling. There's a bunch of little shad pods in here and these bass are, are chasing the shad pods around and eating them. We just seen a few blow up on top of water. That's why I picked up this top water bait. Now it's not really ideal conditions for top water. The sun's out. It's the middle of the day. It's probably about five o'clock right now. Normally I fish top water like first thing in the morning, low light conditions, but with the fish feeding like they are and busting the top of the water, that makes it a good time for top water. Oh, <laughs> you almost had him. I wish they could have gone somewhere with that boat, like the other side of the lake maybe. Yeah, the whole lake. Let's get right there where those guys are fishing. That looks like a good spot. I mean, if you're close enough, they can cast and hit you in the head. You're too close. He's ready. <laughs> I need to be filming that. Get away from these jackasses out here. Dude. You got the whole back of the boat, dude. So guys, you see this area right here? We're gonna do some flipping when we went up the river because it's really windy out there. What I'm doing, I'm just flipping this little crawl up next to the bank and pulling it through the grass. And this tungsten on here, I can feel it. Hit the grass and the weeds and stuff. Oh, that's a fish. Got him. Got him. It's a bass? No. Let him go. Check it out, guys. I got another bass. All right, we're gonna throw him back. Catch your own bass for your thing. If you've ever used tungstens, you know they're really expensive. I'm gonna put the link in the description. 
to where I get these tungsten from for cheap. He's got one, boys. He's got a nice little bassy. Huh? With a speed worm. And it looks like this lady on the dock over here has a turtle. I'll help you get it off the hook, though. Loch Ness monster with that big old ugly neck. We're gonna help this lady get this turtle off the hook here and try not to get bit. Mm. Ugly thing. Don't hold still. There we go. Got the hook back. Venture tip out there a little bit. All right, guys, so we made a move to the back of the lake. And because the wind is blowing this way, well, it was blowing that way. Looks like it's changed direction now, but we're gonna start here and we're gonna work our way down this bank line. This bank line right here is just a known area to pick up fish. I mean, everybody that fishes this place fishes this bank line. And I mean, I pick up fish here, but normally they're little. I've never picked up a big fish here. Now, when I threw over there, I seen a stick move. It might be a fish hiding out over there. There's a fish that's cruising up in there. It might be big. Damn. There was a big fish following my chatterbait up, guys. This is the Phantom. I've got a serpent, seven foot, medium heavy with a fast action tip. I've got a quarter ounce weight on my speed worm with a chartreuse tail. And what I'm doing is throwing it up here next to that grass line. And there's a bunch of grass underwater. And with that quarter ounce weight, it falls in the grass. And then whenever I pop it out of the grass is normally when I get the bite. That's a bite right there. Got him. All right. Caught a bass. He's a small one, but we caught one. We are one on the board, guys. Oh. All right, let's throw the little bassy back. better one that's a better bassy there he is boys it's a good one for uh for this place so i was pulling it up and whenever i pulled it up it felt like a i got some grass but as you see it wasn't grass let's let her go boom two down two down That's a fish. Got it. Oh, this is a toad right here, boys. This is a toad right here, boys. This is a toad right here. Where is he at? Is that a jackfish? That's a jackfish. What the hell? I think that, guys, I think this is the first time I've ever caught a jackfish with a plastic worm. Oh, he got off. Thank God. Guys, this place is really hard to fish. But what's going on right now, it's a full moon. Today is the full moon. So I knew that before I come out here. And with the full moon, it's hit or miss during the day. Sometimes the day bite will be horrible. Sometimes it'll be on fire. But with today, we have what we have working in our advantage is the storm is pushing through. So the pressure is dropping right now. And these fish are just going nuts. I'm thinking with the pressure dropping like this and it being cloudy, some of those big bass are going to be feeding. All right, guys, so my buddy just got here. We got to go pick him up real quick, and then we're going to get back to fishing. But you see the storm is coming right here. It's barely, barely going to miss us. So we're right on the edge of it, which is, I think, is what's turning the fish on. This place is really hard to fish. I mean, I don't know how many days I've come up here and fished five, six days and not caught a bass. And I only caught two today. That's really good for this place. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, oh, damn it. I seen him swirling over there. I threw right on top of him and I wasn't ready. That was a big one right there. That was like a four or five. I didn't have no slack in my line and I was just waiting for it to hit the bottom. He just took off. There's two spots where they like to feed at dark. To the left. Oh. I've caught a few with rattle traps out here, but I've never caught anything right in this area. Ooh, that was a bite. Got him. Got him. Is it? I'll be damned. Look at that, guys. A warm mouth. Small one. I'll fish with him. I thought I had me a good bass flipping up here with his flipping crawl. 
I can't say I've never caught anything here now off this wall. I ain't caught no bass yet. Right in the middle of all that stuff. Oh, that's fish. Oh, dude, this is a tank. Did he get off? Oh, please don't tell me he got off. I felt him for a second. I don't feel him no more. Oh, yeah, he's still on there. I think this is a big one right here, dude. I got the whole grass patch. I threw right in the middle of that grass patch. It was flipping crawling. He grabbed it. I'm trying not to let any pressure on him. Where he can wiggle off. I think I see him. I see something white in there. Oh shit. We are going for the falls. <sighs> Got a mess. Guys, that was a mess. That's a nice one. He's like two and a half. Yeah. Shit. Uh -oh. He's funky. He didn't have no time to fight. Check him out, boys. Got another one flipping. It's a nice one to end the day with. So I threw up there on that grass with my flipping crawl and I let it drop down and he grabbed it. And I set the hook, and as soon as I set the hook, I pulled him straight up to the grass. And he was just hung on the grass there, so he didn't ever have any time to fight. Let's let it go. Maybe we can get another one before dark. She's off. Holy oh, shit. Better get a rod over there. That was a freaking giant. That was an eight pounder, probably. Guys, there's like an eight pounder on the back side of this island right here. We've seen it blow up twice. Oh, there we go. That was right there, right there in his little area. Throw a little speed worm at him. Maybe he'll take the speed worm. Shit's about to light on fire here. Hell, he might be in that grass right there. Oh, you got him? That ain't a big one, that's a good one. That is a good one. He's got a good one, finally, boys. Was that a trick worm? That's a two pounder, that's a decent one. See if I can flip this eight pounder out of here, guys. I got him. Oh, I got him. I got him. I got him. He ain't eight pounder, but he's a good one. I'm gonna boat flip him. Check him out. Finally got us a good one. Oh my God, back at it again. There we go, son. Check him out, boys. With the flipping crawl, look at that. Look at that bass. That's the bass that we seen over there. He was hiding in that stuff. We both threw over there several times and uh, couldn't get him to bite. And I had a flipping crawl with a three quarters ounce tungsten on. I threw it over there and boom. Let's go, let's go. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and let her go. That's probably a solid, what, what do you think? Three and a half pounds, maybe pushing four. Let's let her go, boys. There she goes, she's off. Show you guys what I was fishing with. Just a little flipping crawl. I think this is a three quarters ounce tungsten or a five eighths. These are big bite crawls I got from Shop Carls. And guys, with Carls Club, you get 30% off the whole store. I'll put the link in the description where you guys can check it out. All right, guys, we are calling it a day. We had a good day. This is probably one of the one of the best days that I've had at this lake. Like I said before, this lake is really tough. So um, yeah, this was a good day. I know me and him had come up here a few weeks ago, like seven times in two weeks, and two out of those seven times I caught a bass so yeah if you like this video please hit that thumbs up drop a comment don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you again next time